So health literacy is quite a broad term uh, and some people consider it quite abstract. It's a term that we are trying to refine and define uh, for the purpose of making it more tangible and it's not just someone's ability to uh, pick up prescription or follow basic medical advice. It is rather the motivation, knowledge and ability to find health information, to assess that health information, to understand it and then to apply it successfully for self-care. Based on the recent fi findings, we see that close to half of the European population ha reports below optimal levels of health literacy, so it does present a public challenge, public health challenge. I agree with the statement that patients who are engaged in their self-care are better off, uh, and this modern medicine is really asking a lot from patients. Uh, ever more care, self-care is done at home outside of clinics with limited supervision from medical professionals. So that's where health literacy really starts to play a role. People who are better informed, who are able to understand the medical uh, advice and information then do better, uh, are more likely to follow up on their conditions uh, and seek further help when needed. Best practices when it comes to health literacy, I would say are really um, those health professionals who take their time to engage with their patients, uh, take their time to explain uh, the instructions um, and engage with them on a personal level. I think a message we are trying to convey is really that we need to tackle this problem of low health literacy in Europe. We need a multidisciplinary approach. We need to start communicating better between researchers, policy makers, other stakeholders that are relevant, um, and patients themselves. But by empowering patients, putting them at the center, and then somehow reverse engineering perhaps, um, that is a way forward, and that's what we're trying to promote.